Hey everyone, my name is Lance, and I'm going to show you how to build these gliding cars. The goal of this project is to be able to push it off of a table, have it glide at least five feet through the air, land on the floor, and continue rolling. Testing this project by flinging it off of a table is super fun, and it's great for introducing some basic principles of flight. Okay, let's begin. First, glue a rectangular frame out of craft sticks. Or, if you want to avoid using hot glue altogether, you can use straws that have a one quarter inch inner diameter. These will fit snugly over the ends of craft sticks. In this way, you can use the straw pieces to create the rectangular frame. To create the wheels, you can use bottle caps, but I prefer these plastic ones so I don't have to drill a bunch of holes. Fit the wheel onto a dowel, then slip on a four inch piece of straw, put on another wheel, and remove the excess dowel. If the wheels are sliding off, wrap a small piece of tape around the dowel. Repeat one more time and attach the wheels onto the frame with at least two pieces of tape. Creating the wheels slightly wider than the frame also helps with the car's stability. Okay, time to make the wings and tail. Cut a piece of cardstock into thirds lengthwise. Crease one of those pieces in the middle and fold about a half inch on either end. Flip the car upside down and set it on top of the paper. Then use four pieces of tape to attach the frame to the wings. Now tape the tail onto the top of the wings and to the underside of the car. For the weight in the front of the car, tape four craft stick halves together, and then tape that onto the front of the car. Prepare to launch by bending the wings and the tail up slightly. Place your fingertips on the center of the car, give yourself some runway, and then give it a swift, straight push forward. Okay, so that's how to build this project. If you're planning on teaching this to kids, or if you just enjoy these videos, please pledge on Patreon, where you can get access to lesson plans, project sheets, and see a little bit behind the scenes. Your support helps me make more of these kinds of videos, so thanks in advance. Okay, now let's explore how this works. For this project, we're just going to focus on three key concepts. Mass, lift, and drag. Let's start with mass. So, mass helps an object push through the air. If this car was too light, the air molecules would push against it and slow it down and stop it too early. So the wheels, the frame, and this extra mass on the front help push the car through the air. But it's especially important to have most of that mass at the front of the car, which is why we added that bundle of craft sticks. This little bit of extra mass in the front of the car helps generate some extra momentum, which helps lead the car through the air front first. Without it, the car might not go as far or can spin out mid-flight. Here's a quick demonstration on why this is helpful. So here's a plastic shopping bag. When I throw it, it doesn't go far at all. But if I give it some more mass by adding a bundle of craft sticks to it, now if I throw it with the same amount of force, it goes a lot farther. The same principle applies to this car. This little bit of extra mass in the front helps generate some extra momentum, and when launched, it pulls the rest of the car with it. You can experiment by adding more mass, which may stabilize it even further with extremely forceful launches. Okay, now let's talk about lift. Typically, lift is just when air, or another fluid substance, like water, pushes up against something and causes it to rise. In our case, when this car is falling, the air is pushing on the underside of the wings and tail, helping to keep it aloft. Without the wings, the car won't stay airborne for as long, and it may take a nosedive. However, if the wings are too big, that may cause the car to generate too much lift, which will make it turn upward, stall, and then crash. And finally, let's talk about drag. So drag, broadly defined, is just when any object acts upon another object and slows it down. So as I mentioned earlier, when this car is launched, the surrounding air is pushing back against the wings, the tail, the frame, the wheels, everything, generating a small amount of friction and slowing it down. Drag is also acting on this car in two really helpful ways. The first has to do with the tail. So without the tail, the weight in the front of the car will overcome the lift of the wings, causing the car to pitch forward and eventually take a nosedive. The tail counteracts that force, and here's how. If the car is level, there is a minimal amount of drag from the oncoming air. However, as soon as the car starts to pitch forward, the tail is exposed to that oncoming air. That oncoming air pushes against the tail, levels out the car, and helps it to glide for longer. So that's why the tail's helpful. The second way that drag is helpful has to do with these stabilizers on the tips of the wings. And this works in a similar way. When the car is flying straight, 
these stabilizers are encountering a minimal amount of drag from the oncoming air. But if the car starts to turn one way or the other, that oncoming air will push against the side of the stabilizers until the car straightens out again. This helps to ensure that the car lands while moving on a straight trajectory, which will help it to roll farther. So in summary, the weight helps to push the car through the air and stabilize its trajectory. The wings are providing the lift, which helps to keep the car aloft. And the tail and the stabilizers are providing drag to help the car remain level and straight. Okay, thanks for watching. Remember to check out my Patreon page, like and subscribe this video, and I'll see you next time.